hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be talking about how to start a profitable fruit and vegetable business as a retailer if you're looking for a business to start a business that is profitable that is scalable and that is in high demand then you should consider starting fruit and vegetable business in this video i'll be walking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to start a profitable fruit and vegetable business the number one factor to consider before starting a profitable fruit and vegetable business is location it is very very important that you look for a good and a strategic location for this business because fruits are perishable so it is very important that you look for a strategic location for this business the strategic location for fruit and vegetable business they are roadside area junction areas and market place those are strategic locations for fruits and vegetable business but if you don't have money to rent a shop you can also get a space all you just do is to pay for the space and you can then you start doing your business the next factor to consider before starting a profitable fruit and vegetable business is capital you need to get a capital between hundred thousand era to two hundred thousand era you can start this business you can start it with hundred thousand era depending on how you want to start it if you're starting from the table like starting from the table just getting a stand and starting from the table you need like hundred thousand era to 150,000 era to start because you need to get a table you need to uh, construct a table you need to get umbrella you need to get bowls trays you need to get baskets for this business so you need like 100,000 naira to 150,000 naira you also need to pay for the space so you need like 100,000 naira to 150,000 naira to start from a table from a table and you also need to like add other items like mayonnaise spices tomato those are the items also you need to like add because people ask for these items on daily basis so you need like 100,000 naira to 150 era to start next factor to consider before starting a profitable fruit and vegetable business is sampling it is very very important that you consider the way you sample your market the way you position your market the way you arrange it the way you keep it the way you present it is very very important the way you present these fruits and vegetables to the public is very very important you don't you don't mess up your environment and keep flies and other things perching on it people will not buy from such environment ensure that you keep your environment neat the next factor to consider before starting a profitable fruits and vegetable business is market research it is very very important that you go for market research before starting this business now, it's very very important that you go for market research you go to the market and you ask for the prices of things you go in your area also you ask for the prices of things how how fruits and vegetables are being sold in your area then you go to the market also inquire for the prices of the items you'll be selling for the fruits and the vegetables the prices of how it is being sold in the market the next factor to consider is where to source it is very very important that you know where to buy from where to source for your fruits and vegetables in Port Harcourt here yeah, you can source from my own market for your fruits you can source from my own market for vegetables you can source from fruit garden market and fruit garden market they sell on mondays on tuesdays and on fridays so these are the days more especially on mondays and fridays so these are the days you can buy your your vegetables from fruit garden market mondays and fridays because goods usually comes from the north to port on mondays and on friday you can buy your fruits from my one market you can do likewise in your area where you stay there are markets in your area where you stay where you can buy fruits and vegetables from locate those markets buy from those markets the next factor to consider is how to store now after buying how to store remember these products are perishable goods they are perishable fruits are perishable how to store your orange ensure that you keep it in a well ventilated area let it not come in contact with water don't keep it in a place where water will, it will be soaked up with water because water can spoil orange for cabbage ensure that you don't, your cabbage does not come in contact with water because water can spoil cabbage very fast water can spoil cabbage very very fast then for your carrots ensure that the carrots are kept in a well ventilated place if the carrot is kept in a place where there is heat it will start 
going bad. Put your car carrot in a well ventilated place. Ensure that you sell out these things very fast. These are the ways you can store your fruits and vegetables. The next factor to consider before starting a profitable fruit and vegetable business is a good customer service. You need to have a good customer service to enable you sell your product very fast. I'll tell you a story. There's a lady I know that sells fruit and vegetable. She sells fruits and vegetable. That's what she does. But immediately she started seeing money from the business. She became very rude. She became very arrogant. When a customer comes to her, stand to buy from her, she'll talk to them anyhow. She replies them anyhow. Sometimes she even snubs this customer. So another lady now saw what she was doing, and customers were complaining on a daily basis. Some customers were no longer buying from her. But some customers had to buy from her because they don't have a choice because she was the only person selling in that area. So another lady now picked up from the complaints of the customer and started selling fruits and vegetables. From there, and she had and she has a good customer service. From there, customers started coming to this other lady's stand and started buying from her. Then the other lady that has bad manners, no customer buys from that lady. There are just few customers that buy from her. But the other lady that just started started gaining more customers because she had a good customer service. She had respect and regard for her customers. She does not treat them anyhow. She does not talk to them anyhow. Even when they talk to her in a manner that she does not like, she does not reply them. She thanked her customers after they buy from her. Good, a good customer service is what made this other lady that just started the fruit and vegetable business to gain customers from the previous lady. So it is very good that you have a good customer service. It will enable your business to grow very, very fast. The next factor to consider before starting a profitable fruit and vegetable business is having an opening time and a closing time. It is very important that you have an opening and a closing time. And more especially when it comes to fruits and vegetable business, it is very, very important that you open by six. Open by six and you can close by eight or by nine. By, but open by six because a lot of people would want to buy something, would want to buy fruits and fruits that they will fruits and vegetable that they will use for maybe for smoothie for for their cooking and other items that they want to do a lot of people usually come out very early to buy things so it is very very important that you open very early six or seven you're open for the day and from there you start making sales because a lot of people start knowing that ah this person comes out very early so they will start buying from you it is very important that you have an opening and closing time it's very very important it will enable your business to grow it will enable you to gain more visibility and it will enable you to gain more customers the next factor to consider before starting a profitable fruit and vegetable business is how to sell and in this business model have a good customer service open early have an opening and closing time and customers will always always come to you also sell items that are in high demand and customers will come to you sell quality items will keep coming to you these are how to sell you don't need any other thing you don't need to struggle to sell when it comes to fruit and vegetable business you don't need to struggle to sell ensure that you have fresh fruits and vegetables customers will always 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 come to your stand so that you prices are fair so that you will sell out very fast and go back to the market the next thing to consider is equipment needed you need some equipment you need your trays and other items that you need you need trays you need the next factor to consider is use customers complaint and engage with the customer to know if they have anything that they need they have any complaint they have any product that they are looking for that they cannot find in your stand just ask them so that you use that one to improve your business the bonus tips for fruits and vegetable business you can create hand packs for your fruits and vegetable business where you combine fruits and vegetable like cabbage carrots cucumber you combine vegetables you combine fruits with vegetables in a basket you wrap it very well nicely wrapped and you label it you sell it you can create hand packs like that and sell these are ways to improve your business these are ways to improve your business and ways to satisfy your customer you can also you can also go online, learn health benefits of the fruits and vegetables you sell, learn how to combine them to solve a particular health problem. It will enable you and listing them, listing it for 
them also. You make a menu where you can tell your customers if you combine this one and this one, you can solve this problem. Because some customers, they they actually want to solve a particular problem. Some people is like fat to minimize their belly fat. You can get solutions to this problem where you tell your customers you can combine this food and this food together, blend it together, and when you drink it, how many times you find out how many times a day they will drink it to enable them to solve their problem. When you start solving problems like that, customers will definitely come to you. People will even refer people to you. Why? Because you're solving their problem. You're no longer solving a problem of just selling fruits and vegetables. You're going as far as solving their health problem, giving them prescriptions that are that will solve your problem. Go online, learn these things. They are online where you learn the health benefits of different things. You learn how to combine food, how food and vegetable are being combined to solve different problems. Go online, learn these things. Apply it to your business, add it to your business and start and start solving problems. You start gaining more customers and start gaining more visibility. You even from there you can even start a food juice business. From there you can start juice business and from there your business will go from table to a very big business so this is how to solve problem in the business and this is how to gain more visibility for your business ensure that you're very consistent in this business go value from this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any question to ask please leave it at the comment section thank you